Hi, uh, my name is Angela Schmidt and I'm from the Alaska Film Archives at University of Alaska Fairbanks. Uh, today I'd like to introduce you to some of the resources that are available through the archive and through some of our online platforms. Um, first, a little background. The Alaska Film Archives holds more than 10,000 Alaska films and videos that are available for viewing and use by patrons and researchers. Since our establishment in 1993, our goals have been to locate and collect donated films and videotapes pertaining to Alaska, uh, and to also to document the regions and dates of these items, to store original materials under controlled conditions that ensure their security and longevity, and to catalog and make these items available for viewing. The Alaska Film Archives is a unit of the Alaska and Polar Regions Collections and Archives located within the Elmer E. Rasmussen Library at UAF. Here's a photo of our library taken on Solstice Day in December 2021. Our campus is in Fairbanks, the Trothieta campus, and it is located on the ancestral lands of the Dene people of the Lower Tanana River. Items in our collection span from professional productions to amateur home movies that are made in and about Alaska from the earliest days of filmmaking through today. Some of the changes that have taken place across the state over the course of the past century um, are documented in our films. And they cover such topics as the Alaska Native Cultural and Subsistence Activities, gold mining, hunting and fishing, aviation, dog mushing, political debates, construction of the Trans-Alaska Pipeline, parades and festivals, and family life in communities large and small across the state. Uh, and here we have some still images that are taken from some of our films. Um, in the upper left corner is a black and white image of a prospector named Harry Leonard. Uh, and this was uh, from a film that was taken in the Wiseman area during the 1930s. Uh, in the lower left is an image of Yunangan or Aleut men rowing a traditional boat uh, in the Pribilof Islands. And this was also um, from the 1930s. On the right um, is, a, is a film strip. Um, this is an image from a film strip. And this is a woman and a baby identified as Susie Pontiac and young Roosevelt Pontiac near Anaktuvik Pass in the mid 1940s. Uh, these three scenes come, of, come from a few notable films in our collection. Uh, all three were preserved in recent years through grants from the National Film Preservation Foundation. And as we move along through the presentation here, um, I'll show you how you can learn more about these films and how you can even watch them online. So uh, there are numerous ways to view and learn more about all of our holdings. Uh, and I'll guide you through the basics of that process right now. The best way or the easiest way I think to get started is to visit our webpage, which is available through the UAF Rasmussen Library. And here's the web address here. Um, or you can scan this QR code if you'd like with your smartphone and it will take you right to our webpage so you can get started. So uh, this is our, our web, web page. Um, I'm sure all this typing is, is far too small to read, but <clears throat> don't worry. I'm, I'm just uh, showing this to give you a feel for the overall look of the page uh, so that you know that you're on the right site. Um, what, we're gonna be uh, what we're gonna be focusing on today right here is this search box that's right in the middle of our web page. Um, and let me even zoom in closer. There we go. Um, so that you can get a better look at it. So here you can see that there are four basic ways to search for um, archival film and video holdings in our collections. You can search through the library catalog, uh, through the digital repository, on our YouTube channel, and more. I'll tell you about that when we get to it. Um, so now I'm gonna give you the brief basics for each type of search and uh, kind of tell you about some of the pros and cons of each. So let's get started with the library catalog tab. Um, thousands, of, you know, ten thousands of our holdings are cataloged through the library catalog. Um, here you can read about each item, um, although you won't necessarily be able to view the items. So let's start with an example. Um, say you would like to learn more about Simon Pontiac, who was a leader of the Nunamut people um, in the Anaktuvik area. His wife and son, Susie and Roosevelt, were in the image I, I showed you earlier. Um, so just type in Pontiac in the search field there and hit the search button. 
and this will take you to the library catalog where you will see that um, there are eight archival films or videos in our collection that are related to the term Pontiac. Um, again, I'm not expecting that you'll be able to read uh, all the small type in this uh, um, on, on this slide here. Um, I'll zoom in so you can see a little bit better. <laughs> okay, there you go. Eight results were found. Um, and then you can scroll down that page um, to find a title that interests you. Um, here's a close up of one of the results. Um, if you want to read more about this film, you can click on the blue title. We live in the Arctic Reels 1 and 2. You can just click on that and that will take you to another screen where you can read all the details um, about the film. It's a summary of the film, um, when and where the film was shot, if we happen to know that, um, who shot the film, if we happen to know that, and who do donated it to the film archives. So this particular film was shot in the mid 1940s by Connie and Bud Helmrichs, and it was donated to the archives as part of the Constance Helmrichs papers. Um, if you want to see this film, um, in, in this particular example, you can actually click on the blue link there below the term online access. Uh, this particular film happens to be posted on our YouTube channel. So clicking on this link will send you to YouTube so that you can view it. Now, not all of our films and videos are available online. Many times they're only available on DVD or some other format. But you can contact the Rasmussen Library or you can contact me directly and we'll be able to assist you in checking out those DVDs through your local library or uh, finding some other way for you to access these materials uh, if you don't have a DVD player available to you or if you're not near a library. Um, eventually, we'd love to have all of our materials online, but of course that's an enormous undertaking. Um, so we're just you know, taking it one step at a time and making as much available as we can. Um, and okay, and certainly we don't mind if you reach out to us with questions about how to view our materials. Um, I'll share my contact at the information at the end uh, so that you'll be able to reach out to me if you need to. Um, another thing that I want you to, to pay attention to here on this slide um, is the at the bottom there, you'll see the call number for this film, AAF16016 AAF 16017. Um, that is the call number for this film, and that's an important number to keep track of if you want us, if you want to contact us for more information about the film. We'll probably ask you for this number. Uh, many of our films and videos have titles that are very similar, um, but this number is unique and it's always linked to this specific holding, so you'll always be able to, you know, find this film again. Um, in our library, if you know this number so so that's a good number to, to keep track of. Um, so just to reiterate um, kind of where we're at, uh, we searched the library catalog for the term Pontiac, and that's how we were directed to this film. You can search for anything that interests you in our library catalog. You can search for dog mushing, fish wheels, hunting, caribou, uh, a place names such as Gnome or Minto, people's names such as Willie Hensley or Ernest Greening. Um, I would recommend starting with very broad terms at first. Uh, and then, you know, if you search for a broad term and you get hundreds of results, you can always narrow your search down. So start with a broad term such as fishing um, and, and then, you know, try salmon fishing or Fairbanks salmon fishing to kind of narrow down your results. But um, again, I'd recommend starting with a very broad and general term because then you'll have some success to start off with. Um, uh, and then if you have too much success with that, uh, you can narrow the search term further. Okay, so that was one way of searching through our library catalog. Now I'm gonna take you through the second way of searching um, our holdings. Okay, and this is going to be through the digital repository. The APRCA there, <clears throat> that stands for Alaska and Polar Regions Collections and Archives. So the APRCA Digital Repository. Okay, now um, the library catalog uh, record had, you know, thousands and thousands of records in it. Um, the digital repository only has about, um, not quite a thousand uh, films and videos in it. Um, but this is a site where you can actually view those films and videos. So let's try searching this site. Um, again, we're gonna type in a very broad term. Um, let's search for Pribilof. And we're gonna hit the search button there. 
And then you'll be taken to this page. This is our digital repository. And uh, this results in eight films related to the search term Pribble Off. Eight seems to be a very popular number today. Um, OK, so at this site, uh, you'll be able to watch full films. Uh, some of these will be color films. Some will be black and white. Uh, some will have sound. Some of them are silent. Um, some of them are finished productions um, you know, that have credits at the beginning and the end. Um, and some of them are just raw footage. Uh, you know, it'll just be kind of a, a, a random scene from some part of Alaska. Um, some of these films uh, are 100 years old. Um, and others, uh, you know, some of the videos are more recent vintage from the 1980s or maybe even the 1990s. Uh, some of these items are a few minutes long and others it might be two hours long. Um, but here you'll be able to click on these items and watch the full film or video. And you can do that um, by clicking on the blue title uh, or by clicking on the image above the title. And um, then that will lead you to this page here. And on this page, um, I should have shown you, a, you know, a, a larger image from this page, but um, you'll be able to read about the film um, if, if you want to read details about it or you can just go straight to playing it by clicking on that um, play button in the corner and then you can watch the film. Now, what you need to be aware of uh, here is that you'll, you need a good internet connection to watch films through the digital repository. And it may take a minute or so for the films to load up and start playing. Um, so this may be frustrating if you don't have a good internet connection and I know not everyone does. Um, so there again, you might have to contact me or contact someone from UAF at the Rasmussen Library to ask about alternative ways to view some materials that you're interested in. And we'll always be happy to help with that because uh, we definitely wanna make sure that you have access to items that you want to see. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to the third way, um, for, uh, third option for viewing material. Um, so, uh, Again, we've discussed the library catalog, we've discussed the digital repository, but now maybe you're thinking, uh, you just wanna take a quick peek at highlights from lots of different collections um, instead of you know, the tedious method of reading about the item or waiting for a single film to you know, kind of uh, buffer and be ready for you to watch. So go to this tab, the YouTube tab, um, and then click on the blue words, Alaska Film Archives YouTube channel. And this will take you to our YouTube channel. Um, there are about a thousand clips here for you to watch. Uh, some of the clips are very short. They might only be you know, 30 seconds long. Um, others are, are quite a bit longer, but, um, and, and there's you know, a handful of films that are here in full, but for the most part, these, this is just short, you know, tiny clips that will kind of show you the highlights from some of our films and collections. Um, if you go to this little magnifying glass up here in the right hand corner, uh, you can use basic search terms there to search for topics that interest you. Um, and here I typed in the word mining. Um, there's a little bit of a closer view there. So you can see that little magnifying glass there, that little search um, bar and the word mining that's typed in. Uh, when we hit enter, it shows us clips from our collection that are related to mining. And um, I, I think we all probably know how YouTube works. Um, just click on the, the title or the thumbnail, the, the little image there, um, and then you can watch the clip. Sometimes you'll have to sit through a, an ad. Um, those are something that YouTube puts on uh, before the videos start. Uh, we can't control that. Um, but usually you just have to wait for a few seconds and then you can click on the ad and, and make it go away so you can watch the film clip that you're interested in. Um, I want to mention that it's easy when you're navigating around YouTube to move from one channel to or page to another. So um, make sure that this logo appears in the corner of the video or, or film clip that you're watching. If it doesn't, um, that probably means that you're watching someone else's channel and, it's, and you've gone away from our channel. Um, and so if it doesn't have this logo in the corner, um, it doesn't come from the Alaska Film Archives. Uh, here I have the logo blown up quite a bit, but usually it just appears as a small white or black logo in the lower right-hand corner. 
And finally, that brings us to the fourth way of searching our collection. Uh, you want to go to the more tab. <laughs> and really, that's just a way um, for you to be able to contact me, um, the film archivist. So like I said, uh, please feel free to email or call me at any time. Um, I welcome questions about our content. Um, and I'll, I will even you know, accept criticism if you think that we've made a mistake about something or that we should be doing something better. Um, or that we've posted some content that um, maybe is culturally sensitive and, and you take issue with it being online. Um, you know, please contact me about that and let's talk about that because um, I, I definitely wanna make sure that uh, the content that we make available to the broad public, um, that it's appropriate for us to do so. And I want to make sure that, um, you know, films and videos are correctly labeled. So, um, you know, if you run across an identification that's been made that's not correct, <clears throat> I'd love to, you know, hear from you about that. And you can email me or you can call me. Um, I'm often away from my desk because I, I work in the lab across the hallway um, from my office. So um, if I'm not at my desk and, you, and you've called, just please leave a message and I will get back to you within a day or two, um, I promise. So to recap, there are four ways to search, um, four basic ways to search uh, through the Film Archives holdings. You can go to the website there that's at the top, um, and then you can search through the library catalog, through the digital repository, through our YouTube channel, or you can contact me directly. And um, my basic advice is to use simple search terms don't hesitate to reach out to me or to another archivist uh, at the UAF archives or to a librarian at the Rasmussen Library. We want to connect you with resources for viewing and use. So thank you very much. I appreciate your time today. Um, I do want to show, you know, we're all about films uh, and historical archival films. So um, I would like to stop sharing my PowerPoint presentation there. And then I will now share a video. This is just a short video, but it gives you kind of an idea. There we go there, of some of the holdings that we have available. There you see our logo and the um, AAF number, which is the number for this film. This is a silent film, um, I believe shot in the 1950s. This was in the, the Nome area. And this, uh, we don't know who any of these people are. Um, so if you have information about, uh, you know, more details about specifically who these people might be or um, exactly where they're at, um, and you'd be willing to share that information, um, please reach out to me. This was shot by a filmmaker, an Alaskan filmmaker named William Bacon. So this came in as part of his collection. And this is a clip that we have on our YouTube channel. And we also have the full film on our uh, digital repository. So there you go. That's an example of film archives materials. So thanks very much for your time today. And um, if you have any questions, please reach out. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.